Hello and welcome back to my nail corner. Today I have little shorties on my left hand with the like tiniest amount of builder gel remaining on them and I'm kind of digging the shorties. I'm going to be using this stunning glitter. I apologize in advance. It is a limited edition color from Double Dip Nails and it is no longer available. It was a last month's uh, exclusive color and it is called Finding Dory. I'm going to pair it with Pink Panther and do some glitter tips. But just a reminder you guys, don't skip out on those limited edition colors. If you see one you love, snag it because once it's gone, it's gone for good. I haven't seen them bring anything back from the limited edition colors to date. So you might notice if you're familiar with Double Dip that this is their top coat, their dip top coat, and I'm gonna use it today as my base. Uh, your dip top and dip base are pretty interchangeable. And because I often, or more often than anything, use a gel top coat, I have like extra dip top coat laying around. So I'm gonna use it as my base today. How stunning is that glitter, you guys? I had no idea. I mean, I knew I liked it, but when I put this on, I was like, I, I guess I didn't know that this combination of like teal and like pinky purple was like my favorite. I love it so much. So I'm going to get into a little bit of glitter tip ombre action and it's really this simple so the brush that i'm using is a wet and wild eyeshadow brush they're available on amazon last i checked for like under a dollar so check out my amazon storefront linked down below in the description box and grab some of those they're pretty invaluable i use them all the time i've had the same you know handful of them for couple years and I just um, clean them up using my color switch after I use them and then put them back in their jar where I have them hanging on a pegboard. Um, so now I'm using this little tiny spoon and pouring over the pink panther color for the base of my nail. You want to do that in a cupcake liner or something aside from your jar. See that glitter right there? That's why. So if you're even pouring over that pink and you're holding that glitter nail over your jar, you're at pretty high risk of getting glitter into your jar. So as you can see from the cupcake liner, there's very little extra powder and you'll see towards the end that like there's a little bit more, but it's very minimal waste in order to protect and keep your jar from getting contaminated with glitters. Because then, I mean, not that it's wasted, not that you couldn't use the whole jar if you get glitter in it, um, but you're gonna risk that showing up in future manis and I don't think anybody wants that when you're dipping into a solid. So this nail, I am going to do full glitter because after I saw that on the tips, I was like, nope, gonna have to have a couple of full glitter accent nails because this is so beautiful. Look at that. The filler glitters, the like tiny little ones, the shimmer, everything is so nice. There are um, like little, like shards, like irregular glitters. Um, there's hex glitters. It, it's just like a full, beautiful glitter mix. And I could not, I can't rave about it enough. I love it so much. And I feel bad doing it because I know it's not available anymore, but maybe some of you guys got that. So at Double Dip, they do once a month, a limited edition color. That color before it's released individually on the website it also goes out in the mystery boxes each month so if you are somebody who loves a mystery box um, they also they had like different levels there's three different levels of mystery i guess they're mystery bags the smaller ones i think come in a little baggie and then they go up to like a, a deluxe box um if you're somebody that likes that, definitely consider signing up. They do a great box every month. Um, if you use the code KWMYSTERY, you will get a free item added to your mystery box. Um, and that code is an affiliate code, so I get a small commission if you use that. So consider that. Also, just shopping in general on the Double Dip website, Kate25 saves you 25% anytime on the website. So if you just want the limited edition color usually towards the end of the month so um, I'm expecting next week for the next mystery color to probably pop up I also share it in my Instagram stories when it becomes available 
so there are lots of ways to stay like attuned to the mystery colors because they've been killing it with the, the glitters and all those things in the mystery colors so I definitely raved to double dip about this color I said I love it and would love to see more colors like this in their main line because I just think it's stunning and so well put together it applied so nice and smooth everything laid really nice and flat and you'll see the finished result it just it just turned out awesome so back to glitter tips this i love this look i really like it on um well any length nail but i feel like on shorter nails it really elongates the look of your nails so if you're somebody that struggles to get to any like good length on your nails don't hesitate to do this look i feel like it makes your nails um look longer for whatever reason I just I think it does and I think it's a really fun look um, so definitely consider trying this out it's really simple like you can see I'm just kind of sprinkling that over I keep the brush um, fairly close to my nail when I'm kind of tapping those glitters on just so I have like a little bit more control as you pull the brush up away from your nail the glitter is going to fall a little bit less controlled you know what I mean like in a a bigger area so the closer you are to your nail the more you can control that it just stays at the tip of your nail um, but I really find this to be a pretty easy look to accomplish because there's it's not like a it's not like a French tip that you have to have like a perfectly crisp line there's not an exact um, formula to where the glitter should be on your nail it's just like what you like to see so anyway I am going to do this a second time through on all of my nails I will speed through that a little bit um, but then I'm going to talk to you about a little bit of glitter placement how to make it um, if you're just getting the small glitters from the brush how to get those chunkier glitters where you want them so hang in and I'll be right back Okay, so I'm back before I planned to be, but I just wanted to mention that for my first layer of a full glitter nail like that, you saw I poured the glitter over. For my second layer, I like to lay my finger into the glitter and that is gonna get you like full glitter payoff coverage. Um, and then I do what you just saw with my finger. I just pat those glitters down to make sure they're as flat as could be while that base is drying. And that's just gonna help with when you get to filing and all that, not to have those 
glitter sticking up because if you file into those glitters, they're silver on the inside. So you're gonna file off that color. So now you're gonna see, I just took a little bit of, well, it's dip top coat, but you would use your, your base and applied it on the nail. And then I just kind of took my precision tool there. If you use a toothpick or an orange wood stick, you can use that. And I just tapped it in the liquid on my nail and then used the tackiness then to pick up little tiny glitters from my paper towel there. You can pick them up from in the cupcake liner or wherever you have them and place them on the nail where I feel that they're a little bit, um, sparse like maybe where i want a little more pizzazz and so that's as simple as it is then once you're going to get around to your clear cap those are going to be dried and in place and you can secure them by encapsulating them in clear i do want to mention that i know this is uploading on saturday i am going to have a um and upload tomorrow as well. Can you believe it? Two in a row. Um, and then I am also going to record or do the voiceover for a video for Wednesday and have that ready for you guys. I do have some last minute visitors coming from out of town next week and my nail corner is legit a corner in a in a what we would call a flex room it's got um very a lot of multi-purpose and one of those purposes is our guest space so it has a queen size sofa bed in it and we will have a guest staying in there so um i'm going to be preparing our house for company because i'm not company ready at all times and then um so we'll see if i get something uh, recorded and uploaded by next saturday but i will assure you that you will have an upload tomorrow on Sunday you will have an upload on Wednesday because I already have those pre-recorded for you and um, and I'm working to get those done in advance of my company coming from out of town so you know how my kids were just sick for like two weeks then they were better for a week and now they both have head colds like I am so ready for spring and summer I'm so over this germy season and we overall had a pretty healthy winter but now we're in like the last few days of winter gosh I think spring is official tomorrow or Monday. I don't, it's crazy. Anyway, I am ready for warm weather and whatever about it that kills off all the germs. I am here for it. Um, I also wanted to mention, I have all these things buzzing around on my mind, in my mind, not on it. I don't know. Things are buzzing around in my mind. I have a lot on my mind. I guess it all works anyway. So the music I play here on my channel, it comes from iMovie. iMovie is the app on my iPhone that I use to record my, or to edit my videos and add the voiceover and all the transitions and things. Um, I've heard in the past about people um, getting kind of having like copyright issues with YouTube because they use music from iMovie. I don't know how all of that works, but now I kind of have a fear about it because like I think people have had to go back and mute their old videos and that would suck. Like I have a lot of content on here now and I would hate to see it um, get muted and be useless so all that to say youtube has music that i can i think pick from um for background music i think that there's like there's there's other music basically that doesn't have wouldn't have those issues so in the future here i might be trying out some new music and i just want to warn you because you know some people are like i don't like the music it's so repetitive and i get that um but also some people are like, oh, I love the music. It's so happy and cheery and just like in the background and it feels good. Um, so if you're some one of those people that really likes it, I'm sorry because I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit. And if you're someone that hates it, then um, you'll be happy. But that is probably not coming up in the next few uploads. But shortly thereafter, I'm going to try to figure out some new tunes to try. Feel free to give me your feedback. I know I can't please everybody, but hopefully you're not here for the music. You're here for the nails. And hopefully I am satisfying that for you. So I am going to finish up doing a little bit of extra glitter placement on that thumbnail. And then we are going to get into a clear cap. So I like to clear encapsulate every mani I do, whether it's a solid color or a glitter. Uh, I highly recommend doing a dip in clear. It's going to protect your pigments, any designs. It's going to protect your glitters from being filed into. It's just basically to give you a file 
styling margin so that you can get a nice smooth surface but also not ruin the work that you just did. Um, so that is what I'm using my clear base from Double Dip for. I do keep multiple jars of this on hand so I can use one for when I do glitter nails and one for when I do solids. Because again, if you're doing a solid nail and you dip into your clear and you get a glitter stuck on that, that's just going to be a sad day. It drives me nuts if I have like one tiny glitter stuck in the middle of a solid nail. So I'm going to go ahead and do my dip in clear. I'm going to activate and file off. Well, I'm going to activate on camera and then I'm going to file and shape off camera. And I will be back to wrap this up with you guys in just a minute. Okay, so we are filed and shaped and buffed and all the things. What do you guys think? I'm going in with my gel base. If you are using gel top coat over dip powder, you want to use a primer, a gel primer or a gel base. I find gel base to be the best outcome for me. Uh, gel top coat doesn't like to adhere to a smooth surface like buffed dip powder. So you're going to have it peeling off if that's what you're going with. So consider applying a gel base first that's going to give a tacky surface for your gel top coat to adhere to look at that glitter come to life under that gel mm, i love it so much so i wasn't sure what i was going to use as my base for these glitter tips i hadn't really thought it through i told my gal miranda over at corgi's wine and nails that i was going to do a glitter tip and she was like you should use pink panther and honestly it hadn't occurred to me because i usually grab one of the colors from the uh, double dip french kit like beige pink or something like that goes really nice with my skin tone and i thought pink panther was going to be too pink when i looked at the swatch but i don't know why i ever doubted because she always knows the perfect match look at this mani she created using finding dory i drooled over this and i was like how what am i gonna do like she has this perfect combo i don't even have that pink to copy copy her outright 
It was so, so gorgeous. She always kills it and I'm always inspired by her pairings. So now we're gonna speed through the No White top coat because it's the exact same application you just saw of the gel base. I just like to keep both in here so that if anyone's watching, they're not confused if I'm skipping a step. So gel base is on, cured for 30 seconds, and now gel top coat. So your gel top coat needs 60 seconds to cure. This is a brand new bottle of gel top coat for me, and so I had put too much on the nail. That's why you saw me just like wiping repeatedly. What I was doing was cleaning off the brush on the um, bottleneck and then wiping as much as I could off of that pinky nail with the then cleaned off brush. And that worked out just perfectly. I got it nice and smooth without it running onto my cuticles or anything like that. So um, I do caution you, like this is just something, when you have a new bottle, just make sure you don't have too much on your brush. It, it really carries a lot of um, product for those, those first applications, which is great. It means your product is filled to the brim. I also love the double dip gels. They are, you know, listed on the double dip website under the name Bellavina, which is like a sister brand to double dip. I highly recommend those and you can use my discount code for those as well. So now we are cured and glossy and how pretty is this? I, I cannot get enough. This is on my nails right now as I'm recording this voiceover and I just, I just never want them to pop off even though I have peel base under them and you know, I have to do more content. I love this. It has such tropical vibes for me, but it was just like the perfect combo, that teal, the, the, the pinkish purple glitters. I just think it's gorgeous. So I hope you guys do as well. And for those of you who were able to snag the limited edition color, I hope this inspires you to try out glitter tips with your beautiful glitter. So now I'm finishing up with my Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil, as I always do. I love this stuff so much. The scent I'm using is New Moon. It's actually the exclusive to Manny Boss Dip Powder's new uh, collection that released. So that is the scent that I am rocking right now. And I want to show you a little secret that this Manny is hiding. And that is that Pink Panther glows in the dark. Yep. It does. So if you want a beautiful pink base to your glitter tips and a little surprise at night, that glows in the dark. All right, guys, thanks for being here today and I will see you tomorrow. Bye now.